Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. I absolutely love cars. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how to maintain your vehicle to keep it running at its optimal performance throughout its lifespan and also help to prevent expensive repair costs. So share this video with your friends and family because there's a lot of tips and tricks both inside and outside of the vehicle and also in the engine bay. And by the way, any products or tools or equipment that I talk about in this video, I'll link them in the description under the video for you guys to check them out so all you have to do is sit back relax and enjoy the show so let's dig right into it by the way i have a lot of my viewers that are auto mechanics and also i have friends who are car mechanics so they shared some tips and tricks throughout my life uh, that i apply because on this channel i'm not called pan the organizer for no reason it's because i absolutely love an organized life and making sure the vehicle is in optimal running condition and by the way as you're watching this video if you guys have some tips and tricks that you want to share with my viewers let me know drop a comment in the comment section under the video. Let's go ahead with tip number one, maintain the paintwork. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, a lot of my viewers say, when's the best time to protect the paint? Well, as soon as you take possession of the vehicle. So whether you bought it brand new at the dealership or if it's a used car, but it's new to you, as soon as you take delivery of the vehicle, you should be protecting the paintwork. Now you can apply a regular wax or a paint sealant, but on this channel, it's a car detailing channel. So you guys know my favorite form of paint protection is a ceramic coating. So typically you guys will notice that ceramic coatings they come in these glass bottles. They act kind of like a shield around the paint, protecting the paintwork against the elements, against the UV rays. They're going to give you that gloss and slickness that you're looking for. And they give self-cleaning properties, meaning that the vehicle is a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes. Now, this one here, today's sponsor, is Avalon King. Uh, it took one of the top three spots for the best consumer grade ceramic coating of the year in my annual Car Detailing Products Awards videos, two years in a row now. Why? because it is the easiest ceramic coating that you can apply. Avalon King Armor Shield 9. So it's in a liquid form. With one 30 mil bottle, you can apply two coats on any average size car. Uh, and if you guys are also looking to coat your glass, your wheels, your plastic, uh, the paint and the lights as well, get two bottles and you'll be fine. Uh, but basically this is gonna last you a few years, especially if you maintain it. A lot of my viewers out there uh, have reported that they had seen three plus years with two coats. So over three years of protection and that's pretty awesome. So once again, very, very easy to apply. I have a tutorial on my channel that I'll link in the description if you guys wanna see just how simple it is to apply, but it comes in a very sleek and modern box. And in this box, there's everything that you need to apply it. It comes with a foam applicator block, a microfiber towel, a few micro suede applicators that you wrap around the foam block and some nitrile gloves so you can protect your hands while you're detailing. Detailing. And by the way, Avalon King always offers some crazy deals to the Pan the Organizer viewers and subscribers. But if you're watching this and it's near Black Friday, well, note that they have a massive sale going from November 21st all the way up to November 31st. So check the links in the description for all the details you have to take advantage. And even if it's not Black Friday, if you're watching this later on uh, in the year, it doesn't really matter because there's always some cool deals that you can access. Once again, check the links in the description. And they also have a bunch of other car detailing products, including a new one that they recently unveiled, which I also reviewed on my channel. And it's this guy here. So it's in spray form and it's called the Armor Shield Light. So basically a maintenance spray that you're gonna be able to use to maintain your ceramic coating once you applied it. It's gonna give you a few months of protection, boost that gloss, that slickness. And they made this to be super easy to apply. You can even apply this on a vehicle that has no protection. Next guys, we're gonna have a look at the tread depth. So the tread are these grooves here here on your tires and what we're looking for are the tread depth indicators that are within the grooves. So if we look at the tire here, you can see these, these are these little horizontal bars that are inside the uh, tire treads. And if the rest of your rubber meets that level, it means that the tire is good to be replaced because these are indicators that are basically meaning that there's roughly two 30 seconds of an inch left and new tires on average have a tread depth of roughly eight to nine millimeters or 10 30 seconds to 11 30 seconds of an inch. So you can measure the tread depth with a tread depth measuring gauge, but note that these uh, tread depth indicators here, these bars, if the rest of your tire is level with that, 
then you know it's time to replace the tires. So super important for safety, don't ever forget that your tires are the only contact patch that is with the road, so it's important to make sure that you're operating in a safe manner. Next guys, we're going to talk about tire pressure. So it's important to make sure that your tires are properly inflated, and to do so, use the factory recommended pressure, and you'll find that on the inside sticker of the door jam or inside your user's manual. Don't look for the max pressure that's on the tires, because that's the maximum pressure allowed by the tire itself, and not necessarily the recommended pressure for your specific vehicle. So again, look on the inside sticker of the door jam or in the user's manual. By having proper tire pressure, it's going to prevent uneven tire wear and also prevent you from having a bad fuel economy. So to check for the tire pressure, it is super simple. On the valve stem, just remove the cap, use a tire pressure gauge. There are even some electronic ones that you can have today. So you're gonna put that in there. Check the reading, we are at 33 PSI, which is exactly what's recommended for the front portion of these tires. And that way we're gonna have proper tire wear and also ensure that we have optimal safety when rolling on the road. And you're going to inspect your brake components. So if the pad material of your brake pads goes down to three millimeters or less, you know that it's time to replace it. Or if you hear any screeching sound or you see a metal indicator on those brake pads, again, you know that it's time to replace the brake pads. Visually inspect your shock absorbers to make sure no liquids are leaking onto the dampers or that there's any damage on the shocks or springs. So underneath the hood, we're going to be checking the engine oil level. So we're gonna wait for the engine to be cool, so that's at least 10 to 15 minutes after you last drove it. Make sure you're on a level surface as well. So you're going to locate your engine oil dipstick, you're gonna pull it out, take an old rag, you're gonna wipe the dipstick, you're gonna put it back into the hole right there, and then pull it out again, and you're going to be reading the level. There's going to be a low mark and a high mark. So you want that engine oil level to be between those two markings to make sure you have the appropriate amount. And also make sure to follow your uh, user's manual to know which is the appropriate viscosity of the oil that you're going to be using. So make sure to change your oil and filter frequently. And to do so, make sure you check your owner's manual for the timing intervals. Another level to check is your brake fluid. So you should see a minimum line and a max line. Make sure that the level is within those parameters. Next, we're going to check the coolant level. And to look for that, you're gonna see an overflow reservoir and you're going to see a minimum line and a max line. So make sure that the fluid that you're using is in between those two markings. And if it's time to replace, ideally, use some extended life antifreeze if you have access to it. You should also be checking for the power steering reservoir to make sure that it's at the appropriate level, except on a vehicle like this, where you have an electronic power steering, so there's no fluid in that case. Make sure to top off your windshield washer fluid. Of course, that's for your driving safety, especially when you're driving in inclement weather, you don't want to be caught off guard, so put a funnel there. Use some quality windshield washer fluid. Simply pour that in there and you should be good to go. Make sure you close the reservoir back up again. Next, we're going to check the engine air filter to make sure that we're getting proper air to fuel mixture and optimal gas mileage. You wanna make sure that that filter is clean. So you pop off the clips that is on your air box and you're gonna see this kind of a filter inside. All vehicles have this. And what you're going to do is to inspect it, see if you have any dirt and debris. And if it's kind of this grayish to black appearance or super dirty, that's when you know you want to replace it. This one here is perfectly fine and clean. So you're gonna put that back in there or replace it if need be. Make sure you close the air box back up again. There we go. You're gonna put the clips and it's nice and tidy. Next guys, we're going to visually inspect the battery terminals for rust or corrosion. So the negative terminal and also the positive terminal, pop the caps off and look at them. If you see any rust or corrosion, use a wire brush to clean them. I also recommend that you use a battery terminal protection spray and spray the terminals and you're gonna seal them up that way. And also at least once a year, have your battery tested by a mechanic for proper voltage. Next guys, we're going to inspect the cabin air filter, which they're usually 
safely located behind the glove box on the passenger seat, and by inspecting that, we're gonna to help to maintain the optimal performance of the HVAC system or your AC system. So when you open up the glove box, they're usually DIY user accessible. You're gonna see that air filter that you pull out and you visually inspect. So what we're looking for is a nice, clean, white uniform look. So this one here is almost good to be replaced. You can see there's a little bit of gunk and junk and some flies stuck in there. So we're going to be replacing this with a new unit to keep the AC system running at optimal conditions. Next, what we wanna do is take the wiper blade arms, lift them to expose the wiper blade itself and check for any deteriorating rubber or cracking and make sure to replace them with new blades every year or two at the latest. And that way you'll have optimal cleaning power for your windshield and you're not gonna run through issues when you're driving in inclement weather. Make sure that all your lights are in working order. Also, be sure to locate where your spare tire is located or the tools required to replace that spare tire. Uh, so that way you know how to replace the spare tire if need be, and you won't be stressed. So in the case of this vehicle, as is usually the case, we have the spare tire here in the, uh, the rear well. We also have the uh, tool kit to remove the tire itself. And often in some vehicles as well, you're gonna get a uh, jack to help lift it. So in this case here, we have this door and you have the car jack that you're going to use to put on the jack points underneath the vehicle to lift it so you're able to replace the spare tire. Also sometimes note that there's no spare tire but there's a tire inflating kit so this basic kind of glue that you're going to pump inside the flat tire then you're going to inflate it with the tire inflator that usually comes with that kind of a kit and it allows you to get to your next service point to make sure you service that tire. So now you guys know how to maintain your vehicle. Share this video with your friends and family or anybody that might benefit from these tips and tricks. Uh, also, I remind you that the Avalon King ceramic coating, check the links in the description under the video. Uh, they have a huge Black Friday sale from November 21st all the way up to November 31st, so take advantage. And even if you're watching this after Black Friday, no worries, they always have some kick-ass offers for the Pandy organizer viewers and subscribers. So I wanna thank Avalon King for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. If you have any more tips and tricks to maintain your vehicle that you'd wanna share with my viewers, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section under the video. So guys, thanks for being there, thanks for watching, and in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.